recognized today carries the special honor of serving not one, but two years as South Carolina Chef Ambassadors. From a tourism perspective, the Chef Ambassador Program has provided tremendous opportunities to elevate the culinary profile of South Carolina and our destinations. We all know how, we all know how special food is in our state. As this program has evolved, we've continued to explore and pursue new ways to showcase our state's culinary talent. To date, the chefs have been featured attractions at a number of events, including Charleston Wine and Food Festival, the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition, and Euphoria in Greenville. Previous chef ambassador classes have participated in events such as the Southern Living Kitchen in Birmingham, the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen, and the James Beard House in New York City. Our current class is partnered with local farmers for our Greatness Grown video series to highlight the program's commitment to serving South Carolina certified grown foods. Overall, these appearances have helped generate media, media coverage and social media buzz for the Chef Ambassador Program. We're certainly proud of the great success of this program as it continues to experience a success driven by the individual flavor each Chef Ambassador brings to the table. The travel and tourism aspect is only a part of this. The other part is agriculture. And, and here to further define the benefits of that part of the program is State Commissioner of Agriculture, Hugh Weathers. Hugh. Thank you, Duane, and good morning. At the South Carolina Department of Agriculture, our mission for the last 140 years has been to let people know more about this industry and what it does for South Carolina. The Chef Ambassador Program is a great way where we use the talents of not only the chefs that we highlight each year, but also the farmers who work with them all around the state. Great partnerships. That's how we get things done in South Carolina. This program is a great partnership between Department of Agriculture, PRT, and the Governor's Office, along with the chefs and the farmers across the state. So the Certified South Carolina Grown Program is almost 15 years old now, and a part of that is the Fresh on the Menu Program, where our chefs work with farmers and supply as much as possible from our South Carolina farms. It really is a great way to use the talents of so many uh, chefs around the state uh, to work with the farmers around the state. So as the South Carolinians get out and enjoy great cuisine, as, as Dwayne was saying, they get a little greater appreciation for what South Carolina's farmers do for all of us every year, and especially through this program. So it's been a real privilege to be a part of this. As we said, uh, this year we have four who served for two years, and during that time we hosted uh, uh, hometown dinners where each of those chefs were featured in their part of the state and really got a chance to visit with a nice uh, group of local diners to talk about their talents. Uh, Kevin Mitchell, when we had the dinner in Charleston, unveiled his new book. Uh, I'm sure he'll uh, tell you about that if you ask, but a great about the history uh, of food in South Carolina from his perspective. Jason, we were over at a great uh, South Carolina's largest peach farm. Uh, we were out under the oaks uh, at that farm. So just great settings where people enjoyed learning more of what we're doing uh, in agriculture for South Carolina. So it's a real privilege to be a part of this. I do want to recognize, we mentioned uh, Kevin and Jason, but we have two uh, chefs who could not be with us today. We want to just mention them as Chef Raffaele de la Tarte from De La Tur from Hamptons and Sumter, along with Chef Jamie Descalis from Johnny D's Waffles and Benedict's in Myrtle Beach. So they couldn't be here. But those who could be here, Kevin Mitchell uh, from the Culinary Institute in Charleston and Jason Tufts from uh, over in Aiken, Chef at Malia's. And now we want to recognize them for their time and service as Chef Ambassadors. Uh, Jason and Kevin, if you would come forward.
we mentioned, this is a great partnership between agriculture, tourism, but it doesn't go off without great leadership, and that's provided by the governor's office. Governor McMaster and Peggy have both been great uh, supporters, uh, not only of agriculture, but of this program as well. And it is a real privilege to have uh, Governor McMaster with us this morning and invite him to the podium to make a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. But what's more important than sunshine, air, and good food? Uh, probably nothing. I want to congratulate all of these and also uh, Commissioner Weathers and Mr. Parrish on the, the uh, partnership, collaboration, communication, cooperation that is obvious in this, this program and, and these recognitions. Uh, South Carolina has it all, and uh, I often uh, say, and, and others uh, say as well, it's the best place in the whole world to live, work, and raise a family. We're getting stronger uh, every day, and, and the, the next few years are going to be great, so it is going to be wonderful to have you out there on the circuit spreading the message. Most everything really good, it, it seems that uh, we, we we recognize, it seems to have come from a long time ago, deep in our culture, uh, a lot of it way, way down here in, in the southern states, not only good food such as shrimp and grits, barbecue, uh, all of those sorts of things. And how many different kinds of barbecue do we have? <laughs> what is it, eight? There are four sauces. There are four sauces? Four sauces. But there, have y'all seen the map of the state where all the different kinds of vinegar and the, tomato-based and the, the uh, mustard-based and all that. Well, that confuses a lot of our friends. <laughs> uh, a lot of folks from other parts of the country think of barbecue as anything you cook outside, but we, we, know, we know different. And remember also, it's, it's from deep from the Southland, that the roots of jazz, blues, and rock and roll. So I think we can take great pride in the culture that we have manifested here and also our people. Uh, it's always about the, the people, and the, the chef's ambassadors will be able to open the door to the curios curiosity, interest, and satisfaction and appreciation of a lot of people and make South Carolina, again, take one more good step towards making us even a better place to live, work, and raise a family. So congratulations to all of you, congratulations and thanks to all who participate in this endeavor, and we look forward to much more success. Thank you. And thank you, Governor. I am honored to introduce the 2022 South Carolina Chef Ambassadors. Please join Governor McMaster and Commissioner Weathers to receive your Chef Ambassador apron and certificate as I call your name. Chef John Ando of the Atlantic Room at Kiwa Island Golf Resort. <laughs> Executive Chef Ando grew up playing in the Tidal Creeks as a true child of the Low Country. He spent 20 plus years of his culinary career in Charleston, drawing from rich resources yielded from the region's fields and waterways. Chef Ando has developed an enduring relationship with local farmers and fishermen and often stops by to visit and discuss how crops are coming in and to pick up produce that will appear on dinner plates that night at the Atlantic Room. He is a recognizable and respected spokesperson for Low Country Foodways, and we're honored to name him as a 2022 Chef Ambassador. Congratulations, Chef Ando. <laughs> Next, Chef Hayden Schock of Restaurant 17 at Hotel Domestique in Traveler's Rest. Chef Schock is a graduate of the culinary program at Greenville Technical College, and he spent most of his life working in kitchens. At 16, he began his apprenticeship under his father at the Greenville restaurant City Range Steakhouse Grill. Over the next five years, he worked his way through the ranks at several establishments, ultimately earning his stripes as executive chef. He led several prominent restaurants in Greenville and Traveler's Rest before taking over restaurant 17 four years ago. Chef Shock's focus on local and seasonal ingredients, along with his dedication to classical techniques, has taken the culinary program at Restaurant 17, and quite frankly in the upstate to, as a whole, to new heights. Congratulations, Chef Shock, and welcome to the 2022 class. <laughs> Lastly, Chef Chris Williams of Roy's Grill in Lexington. 
Chef Williams' well-crafted comfort food frequently makes insider best of lists. Chef Williams grew up in Olar, Bamberg County. That's a suburb of Denmark, isn't it? <laughs> Olar, where his family grew their own vegetables, raised their own pigs and chickens. He is passionate about the importance of locally, locally sourced food. There's been a lot of focus on food media lately about the role of gas station food in Southern culture. And Roy's Grill, a beloved restaurant in, Le in, in an Exxon station, is Lexington's best kept secret. On his menu, you'll find house smoked and cured bacon, house made pimento cheese, barbecue, and five signature barbecue sauces. He's also the owner of catering company William Christopher's, and we're honored to name him as a 2022 Chef Ambassador. Congratulations, Chef, Chief, Chef, I'm sorry, Chef Chris Williams. Uh, the 2022 class of South Carolina Chef Ambassadors will spend a year with us on events and media missions around the state and around the country to promote um, our culinary scene to locals and visitors alike in our state, around our state, and throughout the southeast and the rest of the country, and what great culinary food we have in our state. Thank you all for being here today. And with that, I'll open it up for any questions for the governor, Commissioner Weathers, myself, or our chefs. Or the first lady. Or the first lady. Sure. Come on. Oh. you want to come up and uh, it, uh, it it feels good. I think it means a lot that uh, I mean there's a ton of chefs in the whole state and out of uh, you know these these three or four that we have I mean somehow we were able to get selected so it's a big deal it means a lot to me so thank you uh, well just to piggyback off of Hayden this is a uh, tremendous honor to um, just be the liaisons for the entire state to just bring our culinary experience our culinary world to the entire country and it's, it's just an honor to be here thanks to the uh, previous um, ambassadors for passing the torch and paving the way. Thank you guys for extending the uh, offer and the honor to us. It's, it'll, it'll be a pleasure. I'm looking forward to this year. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. John? Man, had y'all told me all these cameras were going to be here, I'd have brushed my hair. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's, this is a huge honor to be able to. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, um, this is a huge honor to be able to represent my home state and, you know, all the, the, the hardworking farmers and fishermen and, and shrimpers and just producers of, of Carolina products. And, and this is a huge honor and I'm, I'm happy, happy to be here. Thank you. For me, it's, it's definitely a huge honor to represent the state of South Carolina. Um, most people know I'm, I'm not from this state, but this is, this is my new home. This is my adopted home. I've been here for 13 years. Um, <clears throat> as Chef Ando said, it's definitely an honor to represent the South Carolina farmers, growers, producers that supply the food that we use to put on our menu. So I'm very honored and very blessed to be here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Well, just like everybody else said, it was a tremendous honor. For me, I got uh, personally so many wonderful things out of this program, um, relationships with farmers, uh, relationships with Department of Ag and with Parks and Rec, um, opened so many doors for me, for myself, uh, personally and professionally. So I, I couldn't thank the program enough. Thank you for that question. Other questions? No, for anyone? All right, everyone. Thank you very much. I think we should be. Um, if you can join all five of you up here, we can.